In my next series of videos, I'm going to show you how to install and configure your own push notification server, which will allow your mobile application to send push notifications. And the advantage of having your own push notification server is that you'll have a full control of the server, of its business logic and the uh, and of the content of the push messages. You'll have access to uh, PHP uh, files source code and um, you can enhance the functionality of your notification server the way you need and uh, you will have access to push a messages content like the the time the message was sent and whether it was successfully delivered or not and um, but this might also mean that you will need to be at least intermediate software developer for you to be able to enhance the uh, features of your notification server and um, but I'll show you how to install and configure the navigation server. I'll show you uh, the core uh, of it, how to create push messages, how to send push messages, and how to make your mobile application to receive and display push messages. And once you have this knowledge, you should be able to continue and implement other features. So um, let's look at the Easy APN's uh, open source project. And this is the project that I'm going to use uh, for this videos. Easy APNs is quite um, old project. If we look here, it, it is said that the project moved to GitHub on December 4th, 2010. So it was quite a while on the market and it works very well. So um, uh, if you browse through this website, you will see that it has um, the source files of a PHP application. It has the uh, source files of MySQL tables. You can uh, look through them. And um, here we have a PHP uh, files and there are not many files. There are only four files and we will actually use um, three of them. And uh, there is an Apple app um, a delegate file, uh, which is in Objective-C. Well, I'll show you how to do it in uh, Swift, of course. And uh, there is also a cron job that you can configure to um, deliver push notifications in a timely manner, uh, like uh, to have uh, to have them um, to have a schedule uh, task uh, that will uh, fetch push messages. And there's a little uh, block um, with the uh, image, emoji that you can use, uh, a nice video done by um, another person uh, who explains how to uh, download and install, how to make it, uh, how to make this project work uh, as well. So um, uh, this is it, a very uh, small but interesting project. It does work very well and I'm going to use it for this video. To download source code, you can click on this green download button. It will take you to GitHub and from GitHub you can either get the, the URL uh, which you can use to import the project or you can download entire zip file. So I'll click on download zip file and it will download, I'll drag it to my desktop for example and have a look at it. So when you download the project it will have doc files, um, the PHP, the license which you can uh, read through and the source files. In the source files we are interested in SQL. So these are the uh, source files we will use to create our database. The PHP files we will use to um, create push messages and send push messages. And uh, we are not going to use this delegate um, M file because it's an objective C and we will do our application in Swift and cron job uh, which you can use, uh, use um, uh, to schedule timely delivery of uh, push messages. So um, this is it and uh, let's begin and integrate this project uh, into our server.